The Pacific Northwest provides beautiful places for recreation with outstanding scenery and wildlife viewing. We hope for safe and healthy interactions for people and wildlife. The U.S. Forest Service, National Park Service, and Washington and Oregon Departments of Fish and Wildlife would like to offer this advice when recreating in areas that mountain goats call home. Hiking, camping, and climbing in mountain goat country provides great challenges and personal rewards. It also presents opportunities to interact with mountain goats. These encounters can be either positive or negative experiences, depending on the behavior of people and goats. The interactions between goats and people has been observed for years. These wildlife experts have some practical advice to guide these interactions. So what our job is to do is to both observe the mountain goat behavior and also how the, the visiting public interacts with mountain goats when they encounter them on the trail. What we're going to be looking for is how close those goats approach people and also how close the people approach goats. I want to point out three aspects of goat biology that are integral to setting up the situation that we're concerned about, the interactions between goats and people. The first is what we're seeing here. Um, this very steep terrain is where goats like to, to spend time. This is their way of getting away from predators. Unlike some species that get away from predators by running, goats will uh, be very happy to stay in this kind of area, so they don't necessarily run from people. A second aspect of goat biology is their natural hunger for salt that occurs principally in the late spring, early summer, May, June, July, this time of year. Um, in many places, goats are attracted to natural salt licks where they'll spend time people are another source of salt for goats. The third piece of the puzzle that's a, a somewhat concern is that despite the fact that goats may appear to be docile and uh, very gentle creatures, within goat society they're actually pretty aggressive. Goats do a fair amount of defending their own turf, butting each other with their horns, so that should that situation occur with, with people getting too close, there is some danger from goats because they can be fairly aggressive with each other. They're generally not aggressive with people, but they are, have the capability to, um, to become rather uh, belligerent. I'm standing here on the top of Mount Elnor. We've just made the long hike up to the, the peak here. And as you can see, it's a pretty small area up here. There's not a lot of room to maneuver. There's not a lot of room for people and goat. And so that's why it's important for us when we're up here to hold this ground for, for ourselves because to allow goats in here would be too much into our personal space. So the first thing I always like to do is just make sure that, that I account for my gear and that my gear is secure and not providing its own set of attractants for the goats. You know, my clothes have sweat on them by the time I'm up here, my pack straps and my hiking pole straps. So I want to keep that stuff near me and make sure that I'm not separated from it too much so the goats can get at it and chew on it because number one it could ruin my gear but also provides them with a, with a, a, a bad uh, example if I allow them access to that. So the, if I see a mountain goat up here, the first thing I'm going to do is just start talking to it in a, in a regular voice and uh, letting it know that I'm here um, and trying to get it to, to move off because there's just not enough room for us both to be on this peak together. It's really tight quarters and that's, you know, has recipe for a bad situation if, if I let it get too close. So I'm going to just start talking to it and say, hey goat, hey goat, go on, get out of here. I'm trying to use just as low a voice as I can and get it to move off. If it doesn't move off, I raise my voice and, and uh, create more movement and so forth. And, and really, don't be afraid to yell. I mean, um, project your voice out there. And, hey, get out of here! Go! Go! Really, really project it out there. And none of this stuff is rocket science. It's just about making your presence known. It's stuff that anybody can do. Um, just letting the animal know you're there, standing firm, standing your ground, as it, if it does try to approach you up here, and if necessary, you know, picking up some, uh, some small rocks and throwing it in their direction. It's kind of asserting your right to, to exist and, and have your own personal space up here. What we're recommending in order to keep goats wild and people safe is uh, never allow goats human food. Number one, don't feed them. Try to avoid allowing goats salt, either from your body, your pack, clothing, urinate off the trail so that the trail doesn't become a long attraction for the goats. In summer, when goats are attracted to salt, 
and they and they approach you in an in a, in a uh, insistent way. Stand your ground, yell, wave your arms, be aggressive toward the goat in that situation. However, once summer passes, if you are in the autumn and there's a goat that's approaching you closely, particularly if you can tell that it's a male goat, a billy goat, at that point we are recommending that you give it space. Don't challenge it because it may in fact challenge you back. You don't want to get into an aggressive situation with a male goat in the fall, so give it plenty of room as much as you can. Because at that point, it's no longer interested in salt. It may actually view you as a competitor for mates. To summarize, please follow these guidelines to keep goats wild. Keep your distance and stay at least 50 yards away from them, half the length of a football field. If a mountain goat approaches, slowly move away from it to keep a safe distance. If it continues to approach, stand your ground, chase it off by yelling, waving a piece of clothing, or throwing small rocks. In the fall, give mountain goats more space and move out of their way. Never surround, crowd, chase, or follow a mountain goat. Maintain control of your companion pets. Do not feed the mountain goats or allow them to lick your skin or backpack. If you need to urinate while hiking or camping, please go away from the trail to avoid leaving concentrations of salt and minerals near the trail. All of our goal is to, to welcome the public to both the park and the forest and to enjoy your recreational opportunities because it is your national park and your national forest and to enjoy wildlife that inhabit these areas in an appropriate way and, and have a safe and fun visit. And also know where to go if you have problems, you know, to, to let us know if you encounter mountain goats, especially those that are behaving in an aggressive manner.